On this next section, we're hoping to look at how to choose where to set up the EDM and what sort of things you need to consider when doing it to make sure that it works best for you and for the athletes. Okay, now let's look at the actual setting up of the kit. What we're looking to do is initially place the tripod where we need to put it for the competition that you're going to be running. Several things you need to consider is the position relative to either the circle or the runway and also the position in terms of where you're going to need to allow the judge to turn and I'll show you what I mean in a second. What I would suggest is when you're considering where you place this you're trying to enable when you put the machine on top to actually reduce to a minimum the amount of radius you need to move the actual swing of the EDM machine. So placing it carefully, first of all we're going to open this up and if we're actually looking at a competition which is taking place in this direction then we would look to have the maximum opening towards the user, towards the operator at the back of the machine so that they have free movement without risking hitting their feet. The other thing to consider is the height. This can be done by two ways. When we're doing long jump and triple jump, often this is set at the low level as it's being demonstrated here. And the reason for that is because when you're actually running and looking and judging the event, it reduces the amount of range that you need to move the EDM machine, enabling you to move quickly onto the position of the landing place and actually onto the prism. However, when you need to consider a longer throw, then normally it's positioned at a taller height. First of all, you need to place the feet clearly into the floor. Releasing the feet. And then pulling this up to a, an appropriate height. Please take into account the height of the judges you're operating with that day and check who's the EDM. Normally you would set this at approximately chest height because by the time you put the EDM machine on it actually becomes eye height. So if I'm setting it for myself I would look to put it there which enables us to actually have it at eye height for my operation. What I then did was actually need to look at using some sort of um, spirit level to actually make sure that the, the base of this is relatively flat. Here we come with one EDM machine. What we're looking for is the output for the power because we want to place that facing away from the operator. Place that clearly onto the top and then by using the screw underneath on the tripod fasten this down appropriately. Once that's fastened down we actually can now take and detach what is here which is the measuring part with the second section which I showed you earlier which is the tri-back. And in order to do this we just undo a small catch on the side. Lifting this away and placing it safely in the box. On top of here, which is difficult for you to see, is a secondary set of levelling equipment and we use these small adjusters on the side to actually adjust it to be correct. So what I've done now is just spend a small amount of time just adjusting these and remember to move them slowly because they are quite sensitive. And now what we're ready to do is actually place the EDM machine back onto the top of the tripod. Don't forget to lock it on. And we're there ready to go in terms of the machine.